what are the biggest disruptions in your life right now? We do have checkpoints. At the very beginning of this war, there were many of them, perhaps too many of them. Like almost every village uh, built its own checkpoint and it could take really long. And uh, finally, people realized that uh, they are not protecting, but they are spoiling this logistics and so on. So now we have not many checkpoints, but like every city, every important road has them. Um, I don't find it as a problem. And honestly, I remember once again going out on the street on the first day of war and seeing people in the military. There were many of them, like mm -hmm. in a second, in a minute, in an hour. And I loved this image so much. I was so happy to see them. The citizens are so like active in protecting everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's better that they are so caring. Serious uh, distortions happened during this electricity blackout. Yes. That was really difficult. And that was during winter and when it's really cold and we were not prepared. You cannot be fully prepared to so many things. And it turned out that so many things depend on electricity. First, you think it's just light in your house or computer, but then you realize that mobile operators start working with problems because they don't have enough power for something and you lose mobile internet. So you lose all internet and then you cannot buy products because uh, cashiers don't have access to banks. And uh, then water pumps stop working, for example, and you don't get water, even cold oh, yeah. water in, in the house. And it's all so connected. Um, that you cannot predict it before it actually starts. From the other point of view, I was super inspired by how quickly Ukrainians adapted. Like, and in a week of this blackout, you could buy everything, generators were everywhere, uh, you could even buy hot wine <laughs> on the dark streets. And that was, once again, like this peak of optimism inside when everything is dark i have never seen that much light you know in people mm -hmm. as during this dark nights and days and, and cold ones um i hate air raid alarms honestly uh in my region uh thank god they rarely end with something serious and many people are guilty of ignoring them which is also bad uh, but uh, banks, universities, hospitals may close because they cannot work during uh, that period. And um, like the whole day will be ruined with that. So you, you cannot like, once again, it's not very correct to say, but some, I saw like super happy school children, like when they are going to school <laughs> and they are saying, oh, we haven't learned something in that area. <laughs> And they throw away uh, their backpack and like, uh, thank God <laughs> they don't need to go to school. Well, they don't understand everything. Uh, but to some extent, maybe this is good because um, they are not that traumatized. They don't think that they are uh, persecuted for being Ukrainians. They think they have this chance not to visit